All around the world, with the continued rise in craft beer, there are so many wonderful breweries that deserve at the very least a visit. Consider this series your guide to globetrotting the best of the world's craft beer scene. So we are at the Abbey Valdieu, where there is the brewery de Valdieu. Nice, let's go check it out. The Cistercian Abbey Notre Dame du Val Dieu was founded in 1216 by monks from Hocht near Maastricht. According to legend, the uninhabited valley in which they settled was so hostile that the population dubbed it the Devil's Valley. The monks renamed it Valley of God, which will later give its name to the Abbey. The Abbey of Val Dieu is the only Belgian Abbey that survived the French Revolution. The Christian community of Valdieu still occupies the place and is united with the Cistercian order. The monks of the Abbey of Valdieu are at the origin of the beers brewed today on the site itself, the Cistercian orders being known for their brewing skills. The development of the brewing activity was initially linked to the need to make drinking water, which made it possible to avoid the frequent diseases of the time, such as cholera or typhoid. Bonjour, je m'appelle René, je suis un des trois brasseurs de la brasserie de l'abbaye du Val-Dieu. Notre maître brasseur est d'ailleurs une femme, ce qui est assez exceptionnel. J'ai commencé comme euh, micro-brasseur chez moi dans le garage et puis j'ai fait une formation du cours du soir et j'étais très content d'avoir l'occasion de pouvoir commencer ici dans des lieux euh, avec tellement d'histoire, une telle beauté. Grand Cru, which as you can see it's dark and you just know by the carbonation levels and the amount of foam on top of this that this is going to be a high octane brew. So uh, tell me about this one, René. This one is our strongest beer we brew here in Valdieu. It's very dark and um, it's also the on only one where we put uh, some spice into it. Uh, you going to tell us what spice or not? I surely I don't tell you that we put uh, orange, amer, oh, amer <laughs> bitter orange into. <laughs> no, perfect, perfect. No, that's that's a, he's a sport. I like this guy. So no, man, absolutely. And uh, but uh, how come uh, it, this is the only beer that you brew that's that's so um, so strong? Yes, we have also the triple, but it has nine percent. Mm. Oh, nine percent. Yes, yeah. but it's no, not it's nothing but. Um, yeah. A little bit less. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. That's crazy. Now, there's actually an interesting story as to why uh, everybody in Belgium does tend to brew such strong beers, but we can do that in a different episode. But uh, no, absolutely. So this is the the Val du uh, Grand Cuvée. This is Grand Cru. Uh, Grand Cru, yeah. Grand Cru. Cuvée. I don't know what's wrong with me. But here you go. I once again, I'll show you guys closer up what that actually looks like. What a beautiful bottle. I mean, both these bottles are absolutely fantastic looking. The whole corks, it really looks fancy. The, the proof is in the pudding, so cheers, Rene. Cheers. Let's give it a, uh, give it a taste. Oh, wow. Wow, that's interesting. Now, uh, I need to point out that like, first, yes, dark fruit notes are galore. There's a rum and raisin character, which is very, uh, very um, strong on the front of the palate, but not overwhelming, delicious. I'm getting a lot of raisin flavors. I am getting a little bit of fruit something. That, that's probably the orange peel. You know, the, even from the yeast, you're, you're getting a lot of uh, 
S deformation uh, from the yeast itself, and that just mm -hmm. blends. It. It's it's really something special. I mean, this is something that you'd have with a dessert, I would imagine. What do you say? I think so, but well, like, what's your favorite way to enjoy this beer? Firstly, I I would prefer it a little bit uh, warmer. Not so cold. Oh, yes, it's, uh, yeah, absolutely. Really fresh served, but now in uh, in summer it's it's not a bad mm. idea because we drink it not so so fast. So at yes. the final we have all the aromas. Yeah, you, you we don't need. want to drink this one fast. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like a like a Christmas cake with rums and raisins and plums and prunes. And it also has a phenolic profile, which reminds me of, which has a very, almost flowery, you know, uh, musky spice. So think of uh, maybe black pepper and think of, uh, you know, maybe the, uh, the, the cloves, a little bit clove. Um, it's absolutely delicious, but like the, the black pepper is right in front, like as much pepper as you would experience in like a Saison or so on. But this is in a dark beer with this very rich forward profile. This is... This is absolutely fantastic. And I'll tell you what, my favorite kind of beer usually in, in, in Belgium is these dark high octane beers where you just sip them and enjoy them. Mm -hmm. And they're absolutely, they're so special. That's why I suppose that's why they call them special beers. But this is amongst one of my favorites. This is, this is really something special. I like this very much. And think, in fact, I think I'm taking this bottle with me. <laughs> it's mine, you can do it. I will do it like this. Ah, oh, that's awesome. That's delicious. Well, uh, Rene and I are going to keep sitting here and drinking far too much and blaming it on other people. We'll see you next time on Brewery Spotlight. See you next week. Cheers guys and cheers, cheers Rene. Thanks for having me over. You're welcome. Cheers man.